Now, you've heard a few times a reference to Smile Zone, and who can't help but smile when you come into the Brighton space we have here? But it's not, everyone has this benefit, and it is a really great idea, so I am delighted to turn the podium over to uh, Chris Coderre, who is a Smile Zone board member who has been party to this and some of his amazing work in other settings, too. Chris, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Reed and Marie. Let me start by saying on behalf of the board, um, we are so proud and excited to be in any way connected with a great place like Lionsdown. And uh, obviously it's huge in the community. I have done a few of these and never had standing room, so this is, uh, this is spectacular. Why don't I spend a couple of minutes just telling you about Smile Zone in case you're not familiar. So Smile Zone, <coughs> The, the, the mission is always, every child deserves to smile. And this came to be about 14 years ago when two neighbors in Oakville were asked to give money to the new hospital. And they said, what the heck, let's start a foundation that's all about kids. And let's make it bigger than Oakville. Let's make it all across Ontario, which subsequently has become all across Canada. So it all started with that, and the first place was open in Mississauga in 2013. Right now, we have over 425 different smile zones, and by February, we will be in all 10 provinces. And really, that is outstanding. <laughs> thank you, I'll, say, I'll, I'll thank a couple of people in a moment who actually did all the heavy lifting. It sure wasn't me, but... Uh, <laughs> In any event, like I said, every child deserves to smile, and so when we build these rooms, when Andre and his team build these rooms, the whole idea is not just to have a safe haven, but to have a great place that kids want to go to. So it's not only colorful uh, paintings and, and <clears throat> things hanging from the ceiling, it's, it's gamification. It's using technology for games that they can play and often look forward to continuing the game when they come back tomorrow or next week or whenever that may be. And then the way it works is after the, sometimes the donors like Mark was heavily involved in the design and sometimes the people who work here like the therapists and, and Rita Marie, heavily involved. However that comes to take shape, then as it's built, the team come in and literally come in on a Friday night, redo all the two or four rooms over the course of the weekend. So Monday when the kids come back, it's, it's game on and they haven't missed a beat. And so, that's a big part of the way Smile Zone operates, and we're, we're very, very proud of that. Before I leave Smile Zone, I just want to thank a few people. Jackie Haynes over here is our executive director. She is a total rock star to get all of this going in multiple projects and multiple provinces concurrently. Um, we have we have Andre who builds these places, and I don't think he was able to. He's doing another Smile Zone this right now, actually, in Cambridge. <laughs> Always on the clock. I hope we don't pay him by the hour. But anyway, <laughs> and, and then there's also Linda and Sarah, who very much had the design and literally the artwork. Um, so uh, big thanks to them. Also to BMO, Bank of Montreal. They were our initial major sponsor, still the biggest sponsor. So they put in a million dollars when we were new, and some people thought this may or may not get off the ground. So they believed in Smile Zone from day one, and. We, we want to continue to acknowledge their generosity. As we move on to, to Lansdowne, as I said, we are so happy and proud to be connected in any way with, 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 this, uh, with this facility. The people have been so nice, and, and, and the therapists involved in working with Mark and working with Jackie and the artists to, to, to really make all this happen. It, it makes it so much more special. Talking to some of the people when I got here early and, and how excited they were about the artwork in the lobby and one or two of them asked me, so why the horse and the dog? And I, I don't want to steal Mark's thunder, but you know, a lot of that is because those were things that were important to Mark's children as, as they were growing up. And so back to that customization, it's, it's, it's super personal. But when any time you get to an institution like this, all these smile zone bells and whistles are great. But at the end of the day, if the kids are gonna to rise to their greatest potential, ultimately it comes down to the staff. And so you guys are the real superheroes. And we thank you for all that you do. And now I 
just want to say a word or two about Margaret Gurney, commonly known as Mark. Mark donated the funds to make all this possible. Um, she personally picked the location, having looked around. She felt this one was most, well, they're all great facilities, but this was one she picked and, and, and how worthy it is. And then as I understand it, you didn't miss a design meeting and lots of great ideas, and she was very involved through the whole process. And again, we just think that's great. I'll, I'll quote what Jackie said to me. Um, everyone says she is a dream donor to work with, so, uh, so we might model you in our brochures for other donors. <laughs> In any event, um, like I said, much of this, parts of it uh, reflect some of the values and, and lifestyle that they had when they were growing up. Uh, Mark has two, two daughters, Brianna and Laura, and I see Brianna smiling over there, so proud of her mom, and uh, I'm glad you could join us. Welcome. You should be proud of your mom. Um, so with that, Mark, thank you so much on behalf of Smile Zone, on behalf of Lansdowne, we just Thank the world of your generosity and your interest in, in Lansdowne and the children that are, come here for treatment. So on behalf of Smile Zone, thank you everyone. Thank you for attending.